All right. Uh, what about a meaningful relationship? Have either of you ever clocked up more than a couple of months? No. Is there a reason for that? No. Does the idea appeal to you? No. No. Saunders. Well, there. Big Ah. Ah, Emma. Hi, Jimmy. Beautiful view, eh? That's oh, magic. You two have done very well for yourselves. I'd like to think so. Mm. I mean, look, tonight, full moon, stars, romance. Don't start. You, me. <laughs> now, listen, is it true you were expelled from school? Yeah, for fighting. I mean, I can remember standing in the headmaster's office at school and him telling me I was a violent yob and I'd never be any good. But I showed him. I mean, I'm the only kid from our school who's been in full-time employment. I mean, not, of course, uh, including the time I did in prison, of course. Have you ever thought of going back to your school and telling him he was wrong about you? Well, I did one better than that. Three weeks ago, his daughter came down the club, brought her back here, shagged her, sent him the video. Hello? Chantal? No, he's not here. Well, I'm afraid he won't be coming home. Listen, Chantal, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Johnny's dead. Yeah, he was stabbed at the club last night. Hey, and the sad thing is, if he'd have been wearing that jacket that you burned, he'd have probably still been here today. Look, don't get crying, it's not your fault. I mean, these things happen. Yes. Look, Chantal, I'm going to have to go now. OK. You'll be all right? Yeah. I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> there was a time when we'd have given anything to have become rock stars, but it just doesn't have the same appeal anymore. I mean, this job's much better. And anyway, most of today's rock stars are a disgrace. We feel really sorry for the young kids. They've got no role models. I mean, they don't want to see their heroes fanning about trying to save Ponzi rainforests. They want to see them shagging for England, just like Bill Wyman did in the old days. And that's why I'd rather be a Tory MP. They're the real rock stars of the 90s. You've got David Muller, Richard Spring, Alan Clark. They're all top men. They've got money, flash cars and power. And I love the way they use that power just to get women into bed. living this life continually? I mean, is there an end to it? No, I'll stop uh, when I'm dead. I see. I can't see it going any further than that. So you think that, <laughs> you know, when you're sort of 55, going on 60 maybe, what, next week? you might continue living the sort of life that you're living now, pulling girls, you know, as Fingers easily? Fingers crossed, God forbid. Emma? She's not up there. This bloody camera gets heavy. Hey, have you seen Emma? Yeah, she's in there. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Emma! Don't point that thing at me, you idiot! Focus. 
doesn't matter. Sweet, innocent little Emma, look at her. She doesn't look so innocent now, does she? She said about not mixing business with pleasure. I mean, what the hell do you call that? Well, I know what I'd call it. Hey, you're uh, you're forgetting something, aren't you? Not what? You know, a little wager. Yeah. I still can't believe she fell for your patter. She's so gullible. She fell for all the hype surrounding blur. Where are you taking us tonight then? Well, I booked a table for two at Spudge on. First love then, is it? Well, it's not every day you get to belly bounce a TV celeb, is it? Hi. Shit. Hi, Emma. It's not even eight o'clock. I'm not even ready yet. What are you two watching? Match of the day. You look guilty. Get out of my way. No, it's not finished yet. Get out of my way. Sold yet? Bastards! Give me that tape, Eddie. No. Give me that tape now. Come on, give it to me. You're just getting good, Johnny. Oh, could you do that? Well, I'll be back when you're finished. Hey, calm down. Don't you don't touch me. She's vicious. What are you still on for tonight? You two make me sick. Emma. 